the story of our realm, our world, is not just tale of numbers and facts, but a grand narrative of mystery and discovery. In the words of J.L. Dreyer, an esteemed astronomer, the Earth-centered system is in reality absolutely identical with the system of Copernicus, and all computation of the places of the planets are the same for the two systems. This statement questions the certainty of our understanding of the realm. Is the Earth revolving around the Sun, or is it the other way around? In the grand scheme of things, does it really matter which celestial body is at the center of it all? The truth is, if the Earth is a spinning ball, it's going to look like it's flat and feel like it's stationary. All observations will show us that the Earth is stationary, even if it isn't. This is the current paradigm. It's not about denying science, but about understanding its core principles and challenging its preconceived notions. Physicist Martin Gardner once mused, the ancient argument over whether the Earth rotates or the heavens revolve around it seemed to be no more than an argument over the simplest choice of a frame of reference. Which point of view is correct? Do the heavens revolve or does the Earth rotate? The question is meaningless. A statement that forces us to reconsider our perspective. Are we the center of the universe or just a small of a vast cosmos? And as we ponder, it's crucial to note that the definitive proof of the Earth's rotation remains elusive. Despite advancement in science and technology, it seems we are still grappling with the mysteries that have intrigued humankind for ages. The Earth's rotation, while widely accepted, is a theory that has never been conclusively proven. Thus, we find ourselves in a cosmic conundrum, continuing the quest for answers in the star-studded expanse of the universe. Relativity, the special and general theory, as cited in Stephen Hawking's A Stubbornly Persistent Illusion, states, to the question whether or not the motion of the Earth in space can be made perceptible in terrestrial experiments, all attempts of this nature led to a negative result. A stark reminder that our understanding of the universe is still a work in progress. So we find ourselves at the crossroads of understanding, where the facts we hold to be true are as fluid as the cosmos itself. The question isn't whether we're crazy for going against the experts, but whether we're brave enough to question and seek the truth for ourselves. As we conclude this exploration, I leave you with a question. A question that challenges our understanding and forces us to think. If all terrestrial experiments have failed to prove the Earth's motion, does it truly revolve around the Sun, or is it stationary? This is the question that continues to perplex us. The question that keeps the mystery of the universe alive.